Good morning. Morning. Just checking it was rolling. Yeah, let's roll. Roll out. Like prime. <laughs> okay, so this morning um, we're going to talk to you about. No white space. No white space. What's that mean? <laughs> no white mean? space. It means. No, I... <laughs> oh, you're so childish. I know. Go on then, okay. No, I'm not talking now. Go well, on. We're, we're going to have to be quick because... Go on it, then. ...for some reason it keeps cutting off. Chunter, go on. Go. No white space means... No white space in the calendar. <laughs> no white space in your diary, in your calendar, on your phone app calendar, what iCal, whatever it is that you use. Get it stacked, get it full, get it busy because... Ask yourself a question. When are you... Most happiest. Are you busy? Yes, happiest. Happy. When have you? I don't know what I'm saying. When are you? What am I trying to say? Help me out here. When are you at your? We're at that same road. Happiest. Thank you. That's the word. We're at that road. You see. Do you know? Yeah, sucks that. Yeah. Okay. And when are you at your most depressed or sad? When you sat there thinking. Um, when you've got nothing to do. Got, not got anything to do, so your mind kind of wanders, and you're just like. Yep, and you start thinking, is this working? Should I get a job? Do I need to change things? This is not right. You, you start questioning absolutely everything, yeah. So it's so important, not only for your mental stability, but also for, for, for your career and your business. You know, whether you work for somebody else and you're building a career, or whether it's your own business that you're building, or maybe you've built a business and you're just feeling a little bit lost, keep yourself busy. And the easiest way to do that is make sure that your diary is full. You know, put everything, you know, use that diary, get it out of your head, any ideas you've got, put it on a to-do list or an action list, write it down, then use that, that space in your diary, try and put it in, block some time out, even if it's things like going swimming or going to the gym, get it on your diary, so that when you get to that stage of the day and you're thinking, oh, what should I do, what should I do, you've got something that you can look at and think, right, oh, I said I'm gonna to go to the gym, and we're at the gym, and guess what, when you're in the gym, your mind's occupied, you don't start doubting things, you don't start thinking, exactly the same. But also, you, when, I find when you're doing like exercise, you come up with ideas. It gets your creative juices flowing. Especially, I find it more so with swimming. Yeah? Yeah. So go, go swimming, unlock them juices. But it's so important, you know, get your diary stacked out. If, if you have got uh, any spare space in your diary, then, then there's a likelihood that you're gonna you're gonna start questioning things. Do you know you can be, and I say this all the time, you can be your best friend or you can be your worst enemy. Unfortunately, for the most part, people are the worst enemy. So you need to be very, very careful about the time that you spend with yourself. I love spending time with myself. That sounds wrong. But um, I love spending time, I love spending the odd hour here and there on a day-to-day -day basis just on me. Do you know, we meditate in the morning. Do you know that time in the morning, 10 minutes is whatever it is, it's just fantastic time to be able to actually be here, be here, be here. Do you know, be here and now. Do you know, understand that? Focus. Focus, yeah. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about what's happened. Don't worry about what's happening today. Just embrace that moment. Do you know, just, just relax and, and enjoy it. But unless you put that time on the diary to do that meditation, the likelihood is that you won't do it. You'll forget, something will pop up, something will interject into that and interrupt your day and you'll find yourself then spiraling out of control and just reacting to everybody else's situations all day long. So you need to get it into your diary. And if you're not using a diary, definitely start using a diary. And I say a diary, and I mean a calendar or anything that can keep you on track. We, I, I, I use my phone. I'm gonna show you my phone paste there. Uh, I use my phone. Before, I, have, yeah. Yeah. I use my phone, the calendar on my phone, it syncs to Google. Uh, calendar, send it back to my CRM system so everything links together, then pushes it to my iPad and my MacBook and my iMac, so it's just completely seamless wherever it is, wherever I'm sat or wherever I'm travelling, I can see exactly the same thing. Um, and and just, that's so important, isn't it? it I mean, some absolutely. people prefer like a, a pen and paper kind of diary, don't they? To actually physically write things in it. And if that works for you, then do that. I, I prefer... A pen, a pen, a pen and paper. Ooh, a pen and paper to write. Do you know, I've got meetings. I've got it's in my bag, but I've got 
a legal pad or a notebook or whatever it is with me at all times. You know, I'm always scrib scribbling, I'm always doodling, I'm always flashing out ideas. And, and so I need that. I can't use an app with a stylus. It just doesn't work for me. But I can use the calendar. And that calendar works incredibly well. And and it's so good because just quickly at a glance you can see what your day's like, what your month's like, what the next week's like. You can see exactly what your diary looks like and you need to make sure that you're getting it filled, stacked full. And, and the good thing is when you do this, you can actually start to see patterns. So you can tell that once... Um, if something starts becoming quiet, if your financial situation is not like it was a month or two months ago, the likelihood is you can flip back to your diary really quickly and you can see exactly why. Do you know, I've not had enough meetings, I've not, I've not had enough white space blocked out, I've not done anything. It's a pattern that you can start to see as well. So you definitely need to make sure that you, you, you're filling that space up. And that space can be things like blocking call time out. Do you know, I tell everybody that they need to be doing cold calls every day. Every single day you need to do some level, even if you hate it, and, and you need to force you, yourself because you to to the only way you're going to get better at it is by doing it. So even if it's just making cold calls, you need to block that time out that from 10 to 11 or 10 to 1 or whatever time that you feel is, is a starting point for you. I mean, you need to be doing more than that in my opinion, but if it's difficult and it's tough, then you start small. Do you know, do something that you can start to see progress from. But you need to block that time out. Block the time out for swimming. Block the time out for cold calls. The block the time out to check you, your emails. If you block time out for something you don't like doing and you go, just start small, you're only ever gonna keep small. I think you need to force yourself to do a, a hefty chunk because otherwise you're not gonna notice the value of it. No, totally, you've got, you've got to start somewhere, mm. is what I'm saying. Um, but you're absolutely right. If you can block out a larger time, yeah, you're going to get a lot better and you're going to force yourself to power your way through it. But, do you know, I know people I work with, they're terrified of the phone. And they think that they're going to come through the other side with a, 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 a pickaxe angle or something and start brutally... I don't know what they think, actually, but it's not going to happen. Not from a phone call. Uh, final thought? Final thought. Um, don't cheat. Make sure it's full of useful stuff and see your rewards come rushing in fantastic just start doing it just start doing it today you know plan your week on a weekend or if you can plan it on a friday fantastic if you can't do it on a friday do it on a sunday personally i do mine on a sunday um spend a couple of hours doing it planning the week ahead but you know spend that time planning each day planning each morning get that diary filled stack it out fill it up and go and catch it